Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is used permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, also subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get to it. It's basically being reported, Courtney Kardashian accuses Kim of using her wedding as a business opportunity to further her brands. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. So now do you guys understand why she did all those videos stating she'll walk away from it, whether... She's at a, whether she's at a jail, not a jail, with cameras, not cameras. She tried to get in front of what Courtney was going to say. They put this out. Whenever TMZ wants to give a Kim a pat on the back or promote something, TMZ's reporting it. It was just seen that she was with Don Lemon. Don Lemon's trending, so she wants to be around whoever's trending. Courtney Wedding was trending. She wanted to be a part of Courtney's wedding and it's trending you hear her talk about oh kim's giving courtney advice kim's rolling her eyes in regards to the speech that was given it's, it's wrapped around everything about her they do it they make her like this and it's concerning because you think about what's been said what's been done how they treat courtney this is a beautiful moment and they're trying to taint it by dousing us about her it's interesting but this is the this is the one thing if it was the other way around and kim was in love kim was getting married kim was with a right guy it would be up, up all about her and courtney would not try to inundate with comments oh this is what you want to do not do this is what me and scott thought about what we didn't do it wouldn't even be the same everything that's in regards to Courtney's wedding. And mind you, this wedding was a year ago. So this is old and boring. This is old and Why wasn't this talked about a year ago? Because they were too focused on Courtney's wedding. But then Kim wanted to date Pete. So then a lot of information got transferred over there. In regards to Pete having the weird tattoos on his neck. Pete having the weird branding on his chest. Pete, you know, saying my girlfriend's a lawyer. She's not a lawyer. She's passed the baby bar. She still has to pass the bar. Now, mind you, this time last year, literally a month after, this is the time when Pete was talking about the tattoos. He was talking about my girlfriend's a lawyer. Now, once again, she's talking about being becoming a lawyer. Why is not she passed the test yet? I get that she's working with an attorney's office to help her within like the first year, but there's other steps she has to take to actually become a lawyer. This is a PR stunt. She, I don't know if she'll ever, but think this is the other thing I talked about in another video I did. I think she was concerned about all the lawsuits. I really do. And many people are kind of side eyeing a lot of the court documents, a lot of the court cases. Many people are side eyeing situationships. So you figure the things that happened with Pete. Now, mind you, Kanye's in a happy relationship. Why is she not alleged dating somebody? Because their stature has to be where she can learn, grow, and be slightly in the media. I feel bad for Courtney. Now, they're basically saying the girls see both sides. 
And then you have Kylie that's saying, oh, you know, we have to look at what we're putting out there as a standard. What? We see that Kylie's allegedly looks different. And then she did the lip kit thing. And then girls were taking different things to expand their lips. It was dangerous. So their standards and what they are being talked about, because this is the thing that you now see. More famous people are speaking out against them and how they feel about them and what they want our young girls to see. And this is the biggest thing. You've seen that they talked about the Marilyn Monroe. She lost 15, 16 pounds to get in that dress. And then she lost even more weight. So people were like, what's going on with her chest area? It seems extremely flat. And now all of a sudden, what's going on with that? So people are feeling a way in regards to the extreme weight loss. They call it scare, skinny scary. The extreme weight loss with Kim, extreme weight loss with Chloe. And we get that there might be slight major jealousy because they have to, Kim and Chloe have to be in the forefront of trying to trend, trying to post, trying to do things. Courtney's like, I'm in love with my man. I'm having a good time. I'm focused on him and my children. But it's different for Kim. She has to allegedly post, do things, move funny, go this place, take pictures, go to this place, take pictures. She mainly has to sit with the team to say, what are we going to talk about? Who we're going to shave? How am I going to trend? Who's trending? Let me try and go fly there so I can trend with them. It's just weird. I'm sorry. Now I'm, I'm, I'm calling it. It's just weird. They've allowed her to be this way. So this is the biggest thing. When you see... The people, when she was like, I'm going to be famous, I'm going to be paid. Those people are probably looking at her and kind of laughing because at what cost? At what cost? She's basically saying she wants to try and, you know, spend more time with the family. She wants to see what she can do about X, Y, Z. I'm going to play the clip again. I'm not going to show the picture, but I'm going to play the clip. Because I think it's important that I think it was just a PR stunt. Do you think this will be your life's most meaningful work ahead? I hope so. I hope so. I always joke with my mom, who's my manager. I say, Kim K is retiring, and I'm just going to be an attorney. Kim Esquire. So, <laughs> yes. Um, so I was like, so you can go help my siblings. So. Are you? <laughs> So you can still Is have she a like, job. what about my 10%? Or... <laughs> no. Yes. Um, so I'm giving her the heads up. Are you, would you ever consider a life without the cameras? Yeah, absolutely. I, I do feel like I have a, um, there's a lot that's always on TV and a lot that's always out there. But I think my friends and my family know we really cherish a lot of our private times and mm -hmm. How is um, that possible? She has cameras following her. Forwards in every meeting. How is that possible? She has cameras following her. She goes to pick up her kids. Her kids get in a different car just for her to take a picture. It's sad because people are calling it out. And then here you are at an event last night. What? What? <laughs> and then, of course, here she is posting about the Met Gala. It's all a PR stunt. It's all to try and take away from what's going on with David, what's going on with Kanye, what's going on with Pete, what's going on with this person, that person. People in the industry, and then mind you, I did a video the other day, the one lady it was like, she shouldn't even be on American Scary Story, whatever it is, American Horror Stories, whatever, but she's acted before. But I think that there's a rise and fall. She wanted to uh, promote the situation about her and Chloe going to do the prison reform. Not a lot of people picked that up. So she's mad about that. Now, Kanye's already said that she does that to switch what's going on in the media to switch and change and distract. He said it, not us. So let's listen to the next clip because people are saying we don't see it. She loves it too much. She loves to try and promote. She loves to try and get different brands. Now, mind you, if Courtney is speaking up and saying she did this to promote brands, she did this and she wanted the attention, we already know. Did you ever hear about the lemonade when it came out? 
Kim and Kanye allegedly did a post like an hour or two after Beyonce. She's something else, y'all. Let's listen to the next clip. Being an attorney full time and doing that, um, the journey just really opened up my eyes to so much that I just, it gets overwhelming because there's so much to be done. And I just, um, you know, I brought my sister Chloe to a prison for the first yeah, time last week. And that was really eye-opening for her. And I just, um, I would totally spend more time doing that. Cameras, no cameras. Be just as happy being an attorney full-time. Okay, how long has she been talking about being an attorney? What, three, four years? It's an accomplishment to pass the baby bar. It is. There's a lot you have to learn. There's a lot you have to do. There's a lot you have to uh, study for. There's different areas that you have to study for. I can't even name some certain things right now. I'm just like, people are like calling it out. And it's sad because at some point, she's doing this because I'm sure brands are looking at her in a certain way. This is the other thing you have to realize. There's all these court cases. There's the David situation. There's the mom situation. There's the Black China court case. There was the Rob court case. In regards to whoever that guy is that gave her that money in the bag, the FBI situation. So there's a lot that's going on. So if you're looking to deal with a lot of brand, brand, brand stuff, your, your media and press stuff is not great right now. It's just not. I'd say, like I said before, 60 or 7% of it is not that great for the K's and the J's. It used to be decent. And then you have Kylie talking about the perception of what are we doing with our influence? What do you mean? You guys seek the media attention. You guys seek to seem extremely skinny. You guys seek to copy other people's brands and concepts. That's the concerning part. They've been taught to copy not to be creative and come up with their own ideas. Then people say in regards to that one event she went to, she actually took the mic and was talking about stuff that didn't have anything to do with his award. Why would you talk about him being dating? And is that the guy that does her hair? People been dragging that situation. It's like, what happened? Did When she dyed her hair, did it mess up her hair? And then it, it was thinning and people were like, well, girl, at what cost in regards to this Marilyn Monroe situation? And then they say in regards to that Marilyn Monroe situation, good vibes, bad vibes. They're saying ever since then, then you have Kylie that did the Selena situation. So people have been, they've been losing followers. Kylie's been losing followers. Haley's been losing followers and they were copying, making fun of her for years. And then finally people put their foot down and said enough, leave Selena Gomez alone. So this is the biggest thing. I don't blame Courtney for speaking out. The other situation is, it's interesting how they don't seem to support Travis. They supported Scott along for a long time. They supported uh, uh, Lamar Odom for a long time. They supported Kanye for a long time. Now they're supporting Tristan, who has broke Chloe Hart for three or four years. But then here, it doesn't seem like they try and support Travis. Now, mind you, I can tell you why that is. Travis is not standing for anybody mistreating Courtney. So they may not like Travis because he speaks up. You're not going to be rude to her. You're not going to disrespect her. You're not going to tell her what to do. She's going to, I'm going to help her find her wings so she can fly and not be in the drama, the chaos, and all the confusion. Misery loves company and they want Courtney to be who she was. Courtney's now in love and have left a lot of situations alone. Kanye has found love and left a lot of situations alone. Pete has moved on. So there's a lot of people that's moved on saying, no more. My hands are up. I'm done with it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about the PR stunts, how every week they allegedly have to come up with stuff. I would love to see the library. When this happens, we have to use this for that. When this is occurring, we have to use this for that. Okay, when are we going to talk about Kanye? When are we going to talk about Ray J? When are we going to talk about Pete? If I would have did that interview with that lady, I would have been asking about David. I would have been asking about the lawsuits. I would have been asking about how you feel about people always saying y'all copy people, not just Kim. Kim copying Beyonce. Kim copying Rihanna. Kylie copying Beyonce, Kylie copying Rihanna, uh, Chloe 
copying Beyonce, copying Rihanna, Kylie copying Rihanna like no end. It's crazy how much Kylie copies Rihanna. It's cringeworthy. Find some creativity. And I think, I feel like their management team has gotten a little too close. And it's almost like, do y'all management team really like y'all? Because there's a lot going on here. And it's been like a downfall for five years. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe.